So now I'm going to show you hatching as a method of uh, showing shading in an object. When you think about shading on an object, the first thing you must think about is uh, the light source. So which direction the light will be hitting, because that's where the lightest part of your object would be. Um, very often even left white, completely white. So I'm going to use uh, a bit of cross hatching, which is uh, drawing parallel lines along the object. You see how I'm now um, not leaving some space, white space, uh, for where the light is going to hit. By varying the space between your lines, you can actually uh, create the illusion of uh, lighter or darker shades. So now I'm actually going in the opposite direction and drawing more lines to create darker shade. This is what the cross part of cross hatching is, uh, is all about. To get darker and darker shades, just add more uh, layers of lines but in different directions. For a spherical shape, I keep a circular pattern uh, for each layer of the hatching. Every layer follows this circular pattern. You can also add shadows, cast shadows, uh, in the same method. While this method is uh, pretty effective at conveying uh, light and dark tones, because this object is actually curved. Uh, so this applies to spheres, cylinders and cones. Um, the hatching is not following the contours, then as a result the drawing looks a little bit flat. So now I'm going to show you another method with the apple, uh, where the hatching actually follows the contours. Um, with this method, the hatching actually does two jobs, both uh, conveying the dark and light tones uh, of the object, as well as um, conveying the shape or the, the uh, three-dimensional form of the object. And because the table is flat, you can actually use um, flat uh, hatching lines to, to hatch the t uh, table. So it doesn't have to follow the contours of uh, the apple. It will be following the contours of the table instead. So now you see the difference between the two methods. Uh, when the cross hatching follows the uh, contours and when it doesn't. So it looks uh, a lot more three-dimensional uh, in the method that follows the contour lines.